How is bamboo salt made? Let's take a look at how to make special and unique bamboo salt. First of all, to make bamboo salt, bamboo, which is more than three years old, is prepared. Bamboo contains a lot of minerals, including potassium and calcium. After picking and cutting thick, straight bamboo stalks from the bamboo forest, they are transported to the factory. Cut one side open, and one side remains closed so that it can contain the saw. The second raw material for making bamboo salt is pine wood, which is used to make a fire. The pine tree is split into several parts and dried naturally in a place where there is no rain in order to keep the pine resin inside of the wood during the drying process. This is a pile of firewood prepared in a windy area, which is also a good place to avoid the rain. The third ingredient is sea salt, which is harvested off of the west coast of Korea. The sea salt is thoroughly managed with the indication of origin through a tracing system. When the ingredients such as bamboo and salt are prepared, the sea salt is finely ground before being put into the bamboo. When filling the bamboo stock with sea salt, the salt must be firmly packed into the bamboo so it can harden and be well roasted. This is because when the salt is firmly packed, the essence of the bamboo is more able to be absorbed into the salt and the salt is well roasted into a firm pillar. Seal the sea salt filled bamboo stock with clay, which also contains minerals. Neatly line up the filled stalks in the iron kiln. Light a fire with the well-dried pine wood. The high temperature of the pine wood fire melts away impurities in the sea salt and allows the minerals contained in the bamboo and red clay to permeate the salt pillars as well. In the process of burning a high temperature wood fire, the essence of the bamboo mostly seeps into the salt pillars and some is evaporated or discharged. Bamboos are burning and salt pillars are red hot. The bamboo stalks are burned at 800 degrees Celsius. The bamboo is burned for around 10 hours and turns to ash in the iron kiln while the salt pillar and clay remains. After the burning process, Pick out the hardened clay and brush the bamboo ash from the salt pillars. During this process, some bamboo charcoal may be included in the salt, but this is a characteristic of bamboo salt and is safe to eat. Put the salt pillars into the grinder. Now we've got one-time roasted bamboo salt powder. Put the one-time bamboo salt into new bamboo stocks and, as before, firmly pack it into the stock with a vibrating tool. After covering the bamboo stocks with clay, put the bamboo stocks into the iron kiln again and light another fire with pine wood. Crush the salt pillars after burning and put it back into a new bamboo stock and repeat the process eight times in total. This work is carried out with great care for two weeks. The eight-time roasted bamboo salt is placed in a specially designed iron kiln and then subjected to the ninth melting process. During the ninth time, you will make a resin fire above 1,500 degrees Celsius, which can melt the eight-time roasted salt pillars and the molten salt will flow like lava. This ninth and final melting process requires excellent skill while managing the fire. We should always study and develop the techniques because the quality of the bamboo salt depends on this skill. The salt pillars have turned molten like lava by the high heat. We put a lot of sincerity and effort into the process for 15 days. The molten bamboo salt is solidified and it cools down for two days. The bamboo salt is removed by turning it upside down. It is the most exciting and tense moment to look at the completed bamboo saw, hoping that the 15 days of hard work and effort will lead to good results. The completed bamboo saw is separated into parts that are mixed with bamboo charcoal and parts that are not. This must be done by an experienced person in order to separate it properly. It's the completed nine-time roasted bamboo saw that shines like crystals. The process of removing impurities from the salt with high heat and making it into an alkaline bamboo salt is a creative technique that exists only in Korea. It's a diamond-like treasure, our bamboo salt, that is exported to the world.
Now, put the bamboo salt crystals into the crusher and crush them. To increase the production of bamboo salt crystal grains, crush them as slowly as possible. The bamboo salt powders and grains are mixed together. If the mixed powders and grains are poured into a sieve, they become separated by size. The grain is good to dissolve in your saliva, and the powder is suitable for seasoning food or drinking by dissolving it in water. Now we're at the stage of packing up the completed bamboo salt. The machine discharges the proper amount of bamboo salt into the packaging bags and bottles per the set weight. It is packaged into several containers, mainly pouches and bottles. This is the process of putting the three-time roasted bamboo salt into a pouch.